Oi. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Since I put that one Jesse in one side, he's a bit reluctant now for me to get near to put the other one in. He's had one chick this morning. Let's see if he come over for another one. So I'm, not show, I'm not actually showing him what's in there, he knows it's in there. Certainly a bit more reluctant than yesterday. Although his weight is slightly lower. Really quite well, as good as gold yesterday. It just seemed just calm and placid. But today he's a little bit edgy. I'm not quite sure why. It's just the way it is. Over the next few days I'm gonna drop his weight down till he responds. And then I'm going to start taking him out into the garden and slowly but surely we're getting flying again. Ye yesterday I weighed him in his one pound eight. Well during the end of the last season he was following me on heavier than that. Started off lower hunting but towards the end he, you know his weight I could increase it and fly him straight after a catch the next day. He was following me on well. So it just shows you what continuous hunting does. Um, you can increase the weight slowly but surely. But to get him hunting again, I'll take him down to a response that's quite good. And then try and increase the weight as I go. So he's flying at a the highest weight I can get him to and still responding. Yesterday he had one chick and half a rat. Although his weight has dropped slightly, I think that rat has told his body he doesn't really need to come in when he doesn't feel like it. So for the next couple of days, I'll just slowly reduce down, not too quick. I want to do it slowly, if and if it takes a week before I can get the other Jesse in and then um, get him out. There's no hurry, I'm in no hurry. Good boy. Keep flying off. Just sit there. Good boy. Good boy. Good 
boy. Don't bite. That one. Just put me little scales there again. His weight was one pound seven yesterday. He had two chicks. I'm gonna see what, what he's like now. From that, he's still too high. He's not come out. So I wonder whether he's gone up a little bit from one seven on two chicks. But he's certainly not low enough to give a good response yet come on mate Morning. this morning there was a heron in the garden and woody was making a right fuss and the fish are not coming up for the food they're all right at the bottom And I wonder, I wonder whether that's what's upset Woody and he's not coming out. He definitely is not normal like that. He's normally out, sitting out here, but for some reason he's in there. If that heron has come back while I've been out, but these fish are spooked. They're right down there, low. All a bit weird. And he's not coming out. I won't know till tomorrow to see whether that heron's taking any of the fish. But at the moment, he's slower than what he is at a higher weight. And what's he doing in the mews? Just sitting there, perhaps he's asleep and he's just stretching out to come out. I think I'll go in and see what he's up to. I wonder whether he's caught something in there. You never know. He's had frogs before. But it seems to me like he's eaten. The fish are staying down and the hawk's staying in. What are you up to, mate? No, nope. there's nothing in here that he's eaten. I have known him catch a frog that's been in here due to having a pond outside. But his crop looks like he's not eating anything. Just wonder why he didn't come out. Seems quite calm. You coming out, Woody? Just come in and give him a little bit of chick. He was a little reluctant at first. He's hungry. I can't weigh him because he won't go outside. So the heron seems to have really upset him. Step. I can't really judge what he's like now because he's got a, a memory of whatever happened this morning when I was out. but certainly um, upset him enough to stop him going out into his aviary. So pretty big old herons. He would normally come over at this weight. So he's quite upset. Whatever happened this morning when I wasn't here, that heron must have come back, but it certainly um, 
put his mind onto other things now. He's just looking out there to see what what's going on. Is the coast clear? So I think I'm just going to feed him a couple of chicks or a piece of rabbit. I think today. Come back tomorrow. See if he's a bit more settled. Yeah, Woody. Yeah. You don't seem to want to go out in the Avery. You going out, mate? Woody, you going out there? You beat. He's really looking around. Now he's out, I'll go and see if he'll get on the scales. He's gone now, mate. Nothing here now. Woody. He's too busy looking out, see if that heron's returned. I'm just gonna feed him today, straight out bars if he takes it, yeah. Might take his mind off it. He's really not settled. You can see even when he's eating that chick, he's looking around all the time. day after we had the heron in the garden Woody is just under one pound seven so it's one six ninety three come on Good. Still can't get the other Jesse in at the moment. So from what I can see, his weight still needs to come down a touch more. As we're in familiar ground now in his muse. I'm going to drop his weight just a little bit more. And then once I've got him out and he's flying to me constantly and fairly sharpish, then I'm going to take his weight back up again as high as I can get it. But at the moment, I can see he still needs to come down just a bit more. Yesterday, a chick and a piece of rabbit. And that brought his weight down by, I think about um, an eighth of an ounce. Hardly anything. But I'd rather bring him down as slow as possible. Look, he's coming over to my fish now. There's nothing in it, so he's he's getting keener. Whew. 
but he's not keen enough to jump straight on. If I go over there, I know he'll move away, so that's telling me that he's just needs to come down a touch more, but I don't think it's much. I still think that heron, where that was in the garden yesterday, it has affected him and he's still not quite as happy as he should be. I'll see if he'll step up. Step. Step. Nope. You're not ready yet. Come on. He seems to be looking out far more than he would normally. It's quite wary. It's very wary of me trying to get that other Jesse in. Come on. 